So we're going to talk some more softball with Lindsey Pasenka, the senior infielder. I saw you at second base. I haven't seen you at second base ever before in your time there. Was that some of the, something that's new this year? Um, yeah, you're probably going to see me a lot over there because, I mean, I played there in high school. And then once I came here, I had to make the transition to short. But now this year we're trying something different, and it's going to be, I think, a good change. And who will be playing that shortstop position there? Um, it's kind of a battle right now because we have a lot of talented people. So um, no one's spot is secure at this point on our team. We have a lot of depth. So it's whoever is hitting and whoever is making the plays. We brought it up last sec segment. We you talked about hitting. And in that first game against SUNY Canton, it was a very struggling day for the bats to come out there. Why? And it's been uh, pretty much this entire since Florida, too. It's, the bats are not where they need to be right now with, with a lot of talented players in lineup, too. Right. Um, I'm actually surprised we are starting out this slow, to be honest. But we have always started out kind of slow since I've been here. So it's only a matter of time before our bats wake up because we have so many people in our lineup that can that have power and they're just single hitters that can just get on base. So we'll produce runs eventually. And that's the positive thing about it too. That's something you haven't seen really in a park, Point Park softball team since I've been here. You know, last year it was that Kane and, and Schroeder going back to right. back that Kane, or Schroeder would get on base, Kane would drive her in. You have three, four, you know, players that can hit in that four hole in your lineup, and that's just got to be a luxury. It's just whenever everybody starts to hit. I think it makes it easy for our coach, honestly, to make a lineup because we do have so much depth and we have so much power on our team that I think once our bats do wake up, we're going to have people just replacing people on bases, making plays, you know, hitting the ball. Something that's given you guys the winning record this year, I know the bats have been slow, but the pitching has just been outstanding. You know, poor mm -hmm. Kristen Zelenka, she does not have a decision <laughs> yet this year. In Florida, she pitches six yep. shutout innings and then you know doesn't get a decision there. And then yesterday, pitches five good innings of no-hit ball, still doesn't get a decision. She's 0-0. Zero and zero. You still have a freshman in Zana who's 3-1 and one, who throws a lot of heat. Mm -hmm. Robertson, like I said, probably the best game I've ever seen her throw with that 7-8 strikeout game yesterday. And Heigl, too, producing these, this lineup of pitchers is really, really good. Kristen is really stepping up. She's being a team player. She's not complaining at all about not getting the wins on the record. Um, Lindsay is very impressive, too. When she throws heat in practice, she, she surprised a lot of people. I'll tell you that much. And Kelsey played amazing yesterday. She really helped us out with the win because we were struggling in the first game. And in weeks like this, when you have two, four, six, eight games, and you have those four pitchers, plus you got Carnicella that can go in there too and throw right. some innings, that's a very, very key, important role to really go deep into a season, something that you guys haven't been able to do, make that AMC playoffs. Now with these four quality starting pitchers, I think this might be the time to move forward. Right. When I first came here, we had two pitchers. And one played the first game and one played the whole second game. Stummy and, we, and uh, Trip. Yeah, Trippy. And then now we have five people that we can sub in and out. If one's not performing, the other one will close. We have so much talent, so much depth that I think that if our pitchers are on point, we can go very far. And what's that say for, for Coach here in this situation with Coltis? Shinsi's been here. has just brought in talent. You have 24 we have girls football on the team. team this year. Yeah, you have a football team. building a football team out yeah. there. You can field offense and defense out there. She, you have a lot of tough decisions for her, just who to put in the lineup in any given day. She has been – when I'm up in her office, we talk all the time about lineups and everything, and she always asks me what, what I think about certain things, and it's hard. I can't – usually you know where to put people, but now it's, it's a very hard decision. Your brother Jesse went to Point Park as yes, well, a baseball player. You guys not too far age-wise age apart. He was at the game yesterday. You didn't bat too well in that first <clears> game. <throat> he let you have a little bit, huh? Oh, he let me know. Um, I didn't uh, – Coach gave us a 10-minute break in between the games, and I didn't even have time to take my glove off. And he was <laughs> right here, told me, grab a bat. Come on, we're going to hit. And he um, gave me some pointers, and within five minutes, I already felt more comfortable and – I actually hit better the second game, so I'm going to have to dedicate that to him. I have a sense that this isn't the first time that he's ever done that for you Actually either. not. When he played here, um, we went down the cages all the time together. And um, I kind of miss that this year since he graduated. I mean, I have my teammates come down with me and stuff, but it's just not the same. Now, how, how great was that to have that relationship with your brother here at Point Park? Again, he was here about a year or two ahead of you, but you came right back into Point Park. And, and from a talented family, too, I mean, you guys are both very solid in this sport of baseball and softball together. Um, it was, it kind of made me feel a little more comfortable coming here, knowing that he was going to be here. It was rough at first because it was kind of weird being around him that much, but then we got more, more comfortable around each other and our friends and everything, and he taught me a lot. So you got 
what, four games this week, eight four. all together. Yeah. And you got Geneva coming up tomorrow, which is really the big one out of all the games you have with Penn State Fayette and, and Greensburg and that. What are you looking <laughs> forward to do tomorrow to really prove yourself, prove yourself to the team, not just you, but everybody, and take that next step forward to be in the AMC upper half? Right. Well, Geneva is a very, very important game. It'll show if we can step up and play as a team against a better team because we've seen, I mean, the team we played Sunday, they weren't what we're going to see in conference play. Geneva's really going to get us prepared for conference. So if we can take two wins out of that, I think it'll really boost our whole team. What do you see this team ending up as? You see this team as a playoff team? Absolutely. Yeah. I said that from the fall, and I mean it. I said it every year, but this year I really think that we have what it takes. Mm -hmm.